Hi, Dave Youngquist, and welcome to Last Cavalry TV. Well, if you've been watching any of the uh, most recent videos, you know I've been working on this trench diorama for about the last eight months, and we're uh, well on our way, still have some detail work to do. Uh, the figures are mostly completed. Uh, groundwork is about 90% there, and I hope to have this project completely wrapped up by August. I've been completely immersed in field gray, mud, and sandbags. So I need to cleanse the palette a bit, so I'm going to start another series that will run, you know, in conjunction with this one, and it's going to be painting a monster dude or a fantasy piece in one-tenth scale, and that way I can explore all sorts of new color combinations and just have a little bit of fun. Let's get started. Alrighty then, we've got a one-tenth scale, what I call a monster dude, I'm not really sure what it is, um, but painting fantasy figures or monsters, you have a really uh, wide range of color choices. I mean, frankly, one of the fun things is that there's just no rules, just do whatever you, you would like. I'm using scale 75 paints for this, and I've been using a lot of these paints lately. I find them to be absolutely dead flat. Um, they cover real well. The, the paint is very thick, uh, very similar to Andrea, almost like a toothpaste uh, consistency, which means you can really thin them down and you don't need much uh, on your palette, i.e., you know, it's going to last quite a, quite a long time. I'm using a Caribbean blue as the base color and no particular reason. I just thought it'd be fun to start with that color. And as you can see, I have painted the eyes already. Um, and the reason I didn't want to show that step, it's literally exactly the same as every other video that I've done. The only difference being is that I painted the irises yellow. Everything is the same. So, I have no set game plan for this whatsoever, so I'm just going to start playing around. Remember, keep the paint real thin. I'm going to take a bit of that Caribbean blue. We're going to add some of the sky blue. Again, this is all from the Scale 75 uh, Sky and Ice paint set. And just going to change the tone a little bit, but if you notice how thin this paint is. And I just want to add a little tonal variation to this area. And another reason for choosing this particular bust is that we're going to have armor effects. We have some wild-looking horns, a, uh, a wood dome, not sure what it's supposed to be, probably some kind of giant weapon. We have a flag with three impaled skulls. I did pin these with brass rods because that would be a real tenuous uh, uh, glue joint otherwise. And I think I'm going to paint a last cavalry flag on that just for giggles. So again... You know, I just wanted something, you know, that I didn't have to worry about being, you know, historically accurate. So I'm going to add a bit of the dark blue to this mix. Again, really thin. We tap our tissue to get rid of the excess water, so we don't worry about tide marks. And we're going to add just a little bit of that color in here. You notice I'm not being uh, overly careful at this point. I don't have to. The paint's thin. We'll be able to cover it up. But I'd like to just kind of block out these areas that are going to receive shadow. Again, like historical painting, I always like to block out you know, some of the shadow areas first. I'll work on the neck on the other side of the face later. So now I'm going to add a bit more of the Caribbean blue, our base color, into that mix and create a little more subtle transition. Yeah, we'll be able to do some gloss effects, um, you know, all sorts of, you know, hopefully cool, weird stuff. 
to this. Again, I, I, you know, I figure this would be a couple part series. And again, I don't really have any, any set game plan. And I will tell you, if you are painting outdoors, uh, paint dries real quick, so I'm trying to work uh, as, as fast as possible here. I've added some of the, uh, the deep blue, which is really the darkest blue color in the set, just to increase, increase the shadows. Just building up, you know, some of these different tones that I, I think I want to mess with. So I encourage you to, you know, step out of the box once in a while. Um, you can kind of get bored building the same thing all the time. So, again, that's, you know, that's really the idea of of doing this. You know, and I'll jump in and I'll probably add some Andrea colors and you know some other other tones. That's back to the Caribbean blue. And I also you encourage you to try the you know scale 75 paints sometimes. I found them to be really really of a, a superb superb quality. So we're getting just kind of you know these basic colors laid out. And we're just going to keep on playing and playing. i got to add some more highlights and obviously some more shadows. And, you know, in the next video, I'll try not to do too much on this figure until then. You know, I will do the other side of the face, so we're, you know, we've got an equal equal starting point. And we'll get some reds in here and some you know, purples and and what have you. And we will also, I'll have this sketched out and we'll show you how to paint some really fine detail on the flag. And then we will also be using the Andrea ink set. Now Scale 75 makes an ink set also. Um, but since I already had these open, that's what we're going to use. Uh, and we'll be able to create some really, really cool uh, translucent effects with these. I really enjoy using these quite a bit, and we'll be able to, uh, you know, subtly change tones, add um, some satin finish to some of the things that we'll be working on. So anyways, this is the start of the, uh, of the project, and uh, I hope you join us next time on Last Cavalry TV. By the way, if you happen to notice this t-shirt, it was just given to me from my esteemed cameraman and the man really responsible for all the Last Cavalry TV videos, the man behind the scenes, Kent Tucker. He's a traveling comedian. I encourage you to go to his website at kenttucker.com.